Okay, we got the 69 Mustang ready to go ahead and paint all the jams and um, window openings. Now, I want to go back over this with you because we looked at it the other day. This is where we had to do some minor body work in these areas here. And you can see that uh, Rob Bondo is showing. Now, this is the trick for this. You don't have to reprime this because this will never be seen once you paint it. But what you do have to do, you have to seal that up so the paint won't be sucked in by the porous Bondo. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a nice thick juicy coat of epoxy primer on it. Now what the epoxy primer does is that will level everything out and it will also be a nice sealer because that's what we're going to use for sealer on this. And what the real deal is, is this is a non-sandable primer so epoxy primer goes on real thick and epoxy primer does not shrink. So what we'll do is, what the fuck is this? Okay, we're going to have to sand that because I feel a little bit of a lip there. We'll sand that down before we put our epoxy primer on. Hmm. But what that will do on the primer, I mean on the Bondo, what the epoxy primer will do on that Bondo, it will seal it up nice and clean and you won't have any bleed back. But once again, remember, this is non-sandable primer. So once you spray it on there, let it go. Welcome to DIY automotive school with my friend Pete and Minnie the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. to apply epoxy primer to make sure that the primer is uh, workable and also so you don't get any orange peel is you want to go ahead and add 10 percent urethane reducer do not use lacquer thinner urethane reducer in your epoxy primer mix what that will do the reducer will let it flow out nice and even and it'll give it a nice smooth silky finish instead of a rough orange peel finish. That's where a lot of your orange peel starts is right there with your epoxy primer. And when you put your epoxy primer on and you got orange peel and your epoxy primer on dries, nine out of ten times you're going to have orange peel when you uh, apply your paint. So always remember to add 10% to your finish coat of your epoxy primer, 10% to your reduce, uh, reduce it 10% and uh, your epoxy primer is ready to paint. Now this particular epoxy primer, once it's mixed up, you got to let it sit for 30 minutes before it activates. Make sure you read all your directions and all your instructions on your epoxy primer application bottles to uh, get the full thorough uh, view of what's going on and to make that item work like it's supposed to for you. epoxy primer to the vehicle and then we'll let clown hat go ahead and paint it hopefully he won't get no runs in them door jams because if he does I'm gonna be a hot motherfucker Quit spraying paint, you fucking boot paint, bro. I'm not fucking hurry. I can't move. Look, all right, come on over here. 
I still see fucking primer on that edge over there, dude. That is not fucking painted, okay? That is not painted. What about this edge right here? You didn't even get that fucking edge, all right? You didn't get that fucking edge, all right? Look at that edge over there. Look at that edge right there. I want this shit covered. I want it fucking painted, all right? What's going on with that shit? That looks like crap. You want to know what edge I'm looking at? I don't care. This one right here, bro. Yeah. yeah. Then get it going and get that cocksucker done. I'm gonna be back to check on it. Concourse restoration paint job, and this guy's dicking us around and doing a half ass Earl Shives job. Is there a really? question in there? He worked for Earl Shives at one time? Uh, obviously, he did, because he's doing Earl Shives fucking paint jobs. You said you had a question for us. I haven't heard That's question. the question. What the fuck? Should I, keep, should I continue to let him keep paint, or should I get it from him and do it myself? No, you better let him. I'd give him a raise and kind of kind of Give him, him a raise. Okay. Let, let him Hold on a minute. Hold on. John says give him a raise. I say let him finish painting it because if there's a If he in, fucks up like he did on that other car, I'm going to be pissed. If, there's a if he fucks up, I'm going to be pissed. You there better be him. enough paint on that motherfucker where it's all covered. This isn't romper room school, dude. This is a job. Is, is that responsible for the runs in Norm's car? What runs were those? I didn't see no runs. That's called factory OEM fucking shit going on there. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure thing. Yeah, sure thing. You know, I'm just trying to do a good job, get this bitch down the road, and be done with it. I don't have time to fucking babysit. I don't have time for the moaning and groaning and groping and, and reach arounds and all this other fucking shit. All right, I'm trying to teach them how to do something. I'm trying to teach them. When you teach people how to do shit, you gotta be a hard ass. Because if you're not the hard ass, then they're getting the easy way out. Because they'll respect you and they will, they'll enjoy it more when you're the hard ass and they look back and say, you know what, this is how I was taught, this is how I'm gonna do it. Motherfucker, bitch, fuck.
following the lead, dude. Okay, let me show you something here. Now, you've already applied two full width, you, you, you've already applied two coats of paint on this uh, clear. You telling me that that's show car quality? That looks like shit. I don't even see a reflection in it. All right, I see a fucking blurry eyeball. All right, you're telling me that this right here is show car quality. Well, so you would go ahead. Show car quality to me is three coats of clear. Okay. Is what show car quality. That way you're doing jams and you're using this fucking spray gun. Well, there you go. All right. I've never used that gun, so there you go. You're telling me that that's a show car quality fucking clear coat for two coats of clear that you applied. That looks like shit. Now I'm going to show you how it really goes on. put the final coat on but I want to show you something here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the clear as we pour it out you can see that it looks red the reason it's like that is because we left the paint residue inside the cup when we mixed our clear up that's really important when you're doing door jams or possibly underneath the hood because that way it gives it that nice deep crystal color look that you won't have to buff. And using the residue with the urethane mixed in with it, what does that do? The urethane reducer. Dry quicker? No. What? Thins it out? What it does, it makes it flow out where you don't have orange peel because you're using reducer in your clear, okay? And it also gives it that tint of the red, which will give us that high lustrous coat of clear, if you know how to use a fucking spray gun. But you would never do that on the outside of a car, right? No. Okay, look, look what you did. All right, turn the fucking camera off, dude. Look at here, watch this, watch. You don't even know how to put a fucking son of a bitch. We'll be back, okay, turn it off. But what's different? What's different? I can pull that up now without the thing slopping around. That's what's different. Turn the bitch up! the next morning uh, and we haven't seen what the Mustang looks like yet after we went ahead and painted all the jams let's take a look at it 
and see what kind of job we got on our semi-concourse restoration of our 69 Mach 1 Mustang. You gonna open the fucking doors or are you gonna dig in the trash? Oh, what are you at. digging in the trash for, dude? I was looking to see why there's fucking oil right there, dude. Where? What do you mean oil? There ain't no fucking oil around here. That's what I was wondering. What are you talking why about? Why is there a can of oil in the in the fucking paint? Because area? Our, our buddy VW John changed his put well, a quart of let oil. Let me tell you something, okay? Alright. Oil, oil does not fucking go in the paint area, okay. dude. Do you well, know, do you know that why? was in the trash. Do you know why? I don't know, tell us. Contamination, man. Okay. I'm glad that that oil can's contaminating my trash can. Well, That's really get nice. Out of the trash can. That's nice to know, well, you dude. Get out of the trash can, dude, and get to the car. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Can you pull the plastic off of this so we can see that two-tone black and red job, please? Pull all the plastic and the pit tape off of that. I want to see what it looks like with the brand new black versus our brand new red. I like the way the red came out. My friend Pete, uh, uh, you know, saved the fucking day, we might say, by coming in here and putting the last coat of clear on. Because when you do it this way, you really got to lay that clear down. Now, I want you to look real close at the finish on that. And you can see that it laid down really, really smooth. Because what we did is we went ahead and added our reducer paint mix with it and it made it lay down slick as a willy so that's a real plus right there we don't have to color sand buff nothing on this this is ready to go and uh all right i like that's, that that's dude that's the best word you can say in the body shop dude what's that don't have to color sand the buff. exactly but look at how beautiful that looks look at that so now that we really look at the car where it's all painted like it's supposed to be, it really, really looks nice. I want everybody to take a good gander right here where the red meets the black. Now, um, from the factory, this might have been painted black as well all the way up in here. We went ahead and painted that red due to the fact that we're going to have the cowling that's going to cover this. And of course, this is all going to be covered too, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, I think that it will look better with this painted red up in here so when you look down into it you'll see red instead of black really looks nice and I like the way it came out but now you can really uh, see the difference here and it's really starting to look like concourse restoration now that we went ahead and put the red paint on it what are you thinking clown I think it looks fucking awesome dude I think it looks pretty good I think it looks fucking awesome mm -hmm. it's a good day over here at SWRNC so far so far because of the main reason is getting this fucking car uh, in gear <laughs> dude I'll tell you what I think the next thing we're gonna do to it we're gonna go ahead and finish the wiring on it we're gonna get all the wiring done we got to paint the hood over there there's the hood way over there we got to paint the back side of that black uh, we got to get the top of it in primer we're going to bolt all the body parts back onto this car. Once that's done, we'll hand block it out and get it painted. And I think that uh, it's a down road situation from there. What are you thinking, clown? Fuck guy clown. I think she's going to be very fucking stoked, dude, when she sees the finished I think she's going to love her car, even though it's taken so long. I think she's going to understand why it takes so long to do a restoration like this. Now, this is not an overnight job. No. This is not a, a six-month job. This is not a job that you would take in and, and you know, rush, rush, rush. This is a job that you got to do in between other jobs type job. A job that says, you know what, take your time because when it's all done, it's all over. And the only thing I can do then is start it up and drive it. A lot of people don't understand that the most exciting part of restoring a car is actually restoring it. Yep. After that, there's nothing left to do, dude. Yep. And especially the day it comes out of the spray booth, it's never going to look the same. No. Unless it's a trailer car. Dude. Well, from what I understand, this is going to be a semi-trailer car. Uh, she lives on a gravel road that's, uh, I think she said it's a four-mile gravel road. So she said she's going to trailer it from, the, uh, from her house to the paved road and then drive it from there. I think that's what she said. That's a trailer car. That's a trailer queen. And she is a female subject. So that is a trailer queen, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, get all that paper off, and I think this is a done deal on the jams. We're ready to start bolting this thing together, finish wiring it up the lights. And once we get the lights and the gauges wired up, we're ready to start painting this baby and getting her done. Big tape job, dude. Big yeah. tape job. Yep. Just to paint jams. Yeah, dude. But when you see the finished product, you're going to say, I'm going to do it that way all the time.
Uh, I don't like this right here, dude. What the fuck happened? Come here, man. What the fuck's going on over here, buddy? Rub your hand right there underneath where there's overspray. I sure hope that shit will come off of there. Where are you looking? I'm looking right under that lip right there on the fucking firewall. Gotta get some fucking something, dude. I want that off of there. Yeah, okay. Look at all the overspray on the front end. And you didn't want to tape it off. Rub that dust off right there. See if that dust will come off. There you go. You see what would happen if we would have left the fucking dash? Okay? Give me a fucking break, dude. Yeah. Big fucking job. school. Classes don't stop till you know everything.